We'll try and find out the crowd numbers for you shortly, let you know if it is a, a record crowd. It's certainly a bumper crowd as Joe Simmons knocks it high. Looking for gaps, looking for tired forwards. They're not tired yet, Chief. In hard. The double pump to Woodburn. Very, very clever from Jack Maunder. Very clever indeed. Drew out that first defender, the second defender. Committed to first, drew out the second with the pump. The little pump dummy pass on Woodburn. This is clever from Maunder. The double pump just... Simmons, isn't it? Just moves out. Moves out too quickly, doesn't see Woodburn <laughs> coming. Woodburn hides himself until the last second. Very, very clever. Ooh, Jack Inard's not far away from his first carry, even though Irish knew it was coming. Line. Half a metre Chiefs, they look to be over, they are over. Patrick Schickling gliding in from about half a yard, about six inches off the deck. Very, very effective work from Exeter Chiefs when they get into that sort of range still. Everybody knows what's coming, very hard to do anything about it. Jack Inard might have been surprised by how, how much I would ground he made. With his Joe Simmons presumably right, will make it 14-0. Okay. Simmons again, ropey pass but held by Coleman. Cracking carry straight through Simmons. Good ground made, what a game he's having, the big Aussie. Rona back inside to Simmons. They're getting close, Irish. They've got the advantage. Pearson wants it. Goodrick Clark short. God, how busy is Goodrick Clark? Short, the longer ball of the two, puts it across the face of Rogerson. And Cornish crawls over. That ball made a bit of ground. I always wonder when the backs join in and then you've got to play away, who's left out wide? Well, there are enough of them. Missed that. Paddy Jackson. Side of Skinner does brilliantly, turns it into two on one, and Rona's semi away. Nick Phipps, the foot race on, Woodburn will win that. Good ambition from London Irish, nice work from Loder to turn a two on two into Five a two meters. on one. More than one way to skin a cat. Chiefs have got the numbers. Oh, Flatty has to step in because Loder has gone around the outside of Skinner. Irish looking sharp. Don Armand's trying to get in the way. Look a bit under-resourced at the breakdown. Yeah, and they are. They looked a bit light. This time, London Irish and Paddy Jackson choose to take the three. Do they stop the three? Yes, they do. Steaming through the middle. What a carry from the young seven. Outstanding from Pearson, outstanding. Ball is out. The ball's out, it's bobbling around. Nick Phipps missed it. Never on side he missed it and got caught. Successful. Clean scrum com completed. Paddy Jackson, Van Rensburg, out the back to Jackson again on the loop around. Seen the space. Oh, fantastic interplay from London Irish down the right. And it stokes it benefits on the inside of Ben Loder. Fabulous from Paddy Jackson into that 13 channel, causing havoc. We need to, but we're trying. Checking touch. Wouldn't be a textbook shot that from Simmons, but Luke, you're happy with obviously there was no need. Slightly more difficult kick this for Paddy Jackson. Fantastic kick from Paddy Jackson. Paddy Jackson, drop kick restart, underway, hog underneath it. Warner puts it up, but he slices it, gets underneath it. It's behind most of his players, but Flatty. You're within ten, you never retreated, number seven. Twenty-two. Advantage, number two. Curtis Rona, prominent throughout. Picks and goes, gets nowhere, but crucially, doesn't lose the ball. Good explosion from Valencia. Well, yeah, you get it. He's missed it, but the ball's dead. It won't matter. It just had to go dead. 
No points in the second half here in the Brentford Community Stadium, but nonetheless, a genuinely gripping, fantastic, at times brutal contest between London Irish and Exeter Chiefs.